Que pasa mi gente? What is good, guys? Currently, this is our first live stream sesh ever in the making. Um, but yes, so this live stream sesh will be called Jardin Hiwaro, which is a which is catered to um, a specific part of, of Puerto Rican history which is uh, the Jibaros, which were basically people that were living in rural areas of Puerto Rico for in the 1800s. And, you know, like they were just known for making a lot of great music and a lot of uh, contributing to a lot of a bunch of literary works and stuff like this and danzas and whatever. And uh, I was just like, okay, cool. Like, you know, because I'm at the end of the day, like I'm Puerto Rican, I I feel really close to the culture. So then I was just like that, that sort of thing. And Jardín is garden for y'all who, who don't know Spanish. Uh, and this is my garden. My studio is my garden where we create stuff for for our own amusement and for no apparent reason at all. <laughs> so how about we get started today? Uh, it seems I'm the only one here, but that's OK. I, I like talking to myself anyway. Um, today, I'll be demonstrating, um, well, we'll be starting an arrangement of, um, of Alex Bueno's, um, Alex Bueno's Que Cara Mas Linda, because uh, I'm going to do a collaboration with another um, artist of mine, an, an artist friend of mine, and we're going to do that sort of collaboration and put it on my YouTube channel as for, for y'all's amusement. Man, I look like really white here. I really need to go out in the sun. <laughs> but how about first... We, we listen to the song, and then we'll get started. And now it's loading. That's not the song that I wanted. <laughs> Sometimes I swear YouTube does uh, its own thing. Here we go. Thank you. 
know this song is, is a bop, man. Especially if you're from Miami, like, just in general, like, this is like a Dominican classic. Bro, this weed up player, bro, you just like, locked it down, like, I wish I had a weed up. self-help stuff and my <laughs> anime whatever but man that song that song is absolutely killing i don't know about y'all but like literally it's the it's the one thing that makes me want to dance at least in the morning you know because like i don't know man uh afro-caribbean music is just super energy filled and super lively and i'm just super glad it's part of my culture you know what i mean but in different ways obviously because you know Dominican is not the same thing as Puerto Rican or in the same thing with Cuban, so even though our music is better, but whatever. Oh, for the Dominicans and Cubans out there. Uh, but nah, I'm, uh, but like I said before, I'm doing this arrangement uh, because we're planning a video, like a, a friend of mine and I, we're, we're planning a video to do for y'all on my YouTube channel. Um, he's a piano player, his name is Eden Mart, if y'all do not know who he is. Uh, you should check out his stuff if, if you have the chance. I mean, he's on Instagram. You can check him out. Um, but mainly, besides that, this arrangement series was uh, inspired by a friend of mine, Joe Paz, uh, who has a band, actually, 8-Bit Wave. So shout out to you, Joe. Um, but he does Monday, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's like, you know, uh, an interesting in instrumentation uh, for, for of arrangements of uh, anime music. Which is cool. So, so like, I was like, man, I should be doing that too. So then I started it. And then he was like, what? You're doing an arrangement session? I was like, yeah, man, of course. It was inspired by you. But anyway, shout out to you, Joe, and to Jackie to, that make all the 8-bit stuff uh, happen. Uh, like, it's nobody's business. But now we're going to start with the song. So as far as instrumentation goes, I'm going to put everything's in Spanish. So I, I apologize, guys. Um... Literally all of my electronics are in Spanish. Because I can speak Spanish very, very well. Very well, considering I live with Peruvians and Spanish people. And, um, what's it called? You know, just a bunch, of, like a, a menage of, of, uh, of Hispanic people. But I wouldn't consider myself fluent. I would say, like, probably fluid. Like, very fluid. Like, I can, I can understand most things that are being spoken in Spanish is that sometimes, you know, like I'll be talking to a, a native Spanish speaker and then all of a sudden, like they'll say, they'll say something like, for example, uh, like Spanish people specifically. And when, the, when they have dialect, especially it's like, you can't even understand a word they're saying. So it's like, bro, that is on me. Actually, I don't want wood blocks. Uh, mm, I'm trying to decide well, I don't know if there's congas really. Yeah. By the way, I'm using MuseScore because I used to use Sibelius, but then at some point I had like about 30 projects done uh, on Sibelius, and then all of a sudden they just stopped working, and then my whole Sibelius system crashed. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna use MuseScore. It's free. I don't have to pay for anything because I was paying for Sibelius, and then ever since then I've been doing. Uh, Music score and it's been it's been working. I haven't gotten haven't yet. I've yet to have a problem is what I'm trying to say. All right, so 
Um, I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Let's just put wood blocks for now. And maybe claves. Um, what else? So we got saxophone. We got, you know, alto saxophone and tenor saxophone, which is very, very special to Dominican music, especially in merengue. Literally, they'll just be playing the... Well, it was those instruments that was playing the... Like, it's like the articulation in those instruments are absolutely not so. All right, now I'm looking for electric bass. Yee, okay. And then now, what else do we need? So we have saxophones, piano. Oh, we need, we need trumpet. Trumpet. That is not. Maderas is not metal. Um, amazing. So then we have trumpet on top, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, piano, bass, and then some sort of percussion. Um, I won't tell you who's on the record besides uh, record, uh, as if I had a record right now. I'm super salty about that, guys. I was about to put a record out in the summer, but then that didn't happen. But super salty. But anyway. Um, we have, uh, what's it called? These people, I'm not going to tell you who's on the, uh, who's going to be on the video, but I will tell you, uh, will say this, even though, because I mentioned his name earlier, Eden Mart will be playing piano, and then I will be playing saxophones, of course, because I have both an alto and a tenor saxophone in here, which you've probably seen at some point if you've been kept up to date with my, um, with my YouTube channel. Uh, amazing. Okay, cool. So then I think that's that's all we got for now. I don't I don't really like writing in uh I usually write a C score, meaning that I usually just like uh write my, write my arrangements, um, but then there's like a bunch of accidentals everywhere. I feel like that's more like appeasing like appealing. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Appealing uh to the eye. At least for me, because like sometimes, you know, like you get like huge key changes and you're just like worrying about naturals and stuff like this. And like, and I know a lot of uh, composers, famous composers actually, that use C scores, especially in the jazz world. So we're going to keep it that way. For anybody who feels different, like having uh, key signatures is amazing. That's cool. I, sometimes I use key signatures, but as for now, I'm just not going to use them. I'm just going to put them as, as we go along. So. We got the first part of the song. So that one bit right there. So we got, let me switch to the piano. Come in on the on one basically. Transitioning. Um. It's just like two beats. Where is he? Oh, I need to I need to drink some water to keep keep myself hydrated. I think I think there's two trumpets on this, so I might even have to put a second trumpet. Even though, well, I'm not gonna tell y'all anything. But I think they might have two trumpets. Yeah, I think they might have two trumpets. Concert, amazing. Actually, let's figure out the tempo first. How about that? It's like. It's like like around one forty. Right. Yeah. 
130 actually. This is 131. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. gonna be high but you know I'm guessing I, yeah it's it's a friend the Trump player is also a friend of mine everybody that plays on my stuff and it happens to be on my social media are all my friends so I think I might have to add a second try to this I wish I had like the jeopardy theme to like talk to y'all and then when I'm not talking, you just have that play. I think that might be the right octave. Right. So I think that's pretty much the same in the in the rest of the band. Let's see. I hate the MIDI sounds on Musecore, like that's the only thing that I hate, um, you know, but it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, late. They might be actually in C sharp. Ooh. Hello. Uh, sorry, the I like messed up the microphone. Um, it might even just be, and I'm just like dumb. <laughs> I swear, everybody, for all my people who have relative pitch, they understand what I'm what I'm going through. Or they're just like really flat. Either either way, let's see. That's so hard to tell. It's like they're super in between. Let's see what the bass player is, is playing so that way we know what key. No, they're playing in, in C minor. They're definitely playing in C minor. They're just, the freaking trumpets are just super sharp. We're going to the piano, guys. I really should have both of these on here, but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes.
So. That's what they play. That's what I'm hearing. Unless I'm just dumb. Which is like literally all the time. Hard, man. It's like how how do you even figure that out? Hold on, I had to turn off my air conditioning because they were just they were just being too loud. just hearing it like a whole step up. Is that what they were playing? might be like just super sharp for no reason i mean this is also a, a really uh not a really old recording i think it was released in the 70s but i don't know Yeah, it's really hard to tell. <clears throat> to tell. I think they just might be playing like stupid sharp, you know what I mean?
Yeah, that's it. Copy and paste. I'm just like biasly doing the horns first. Yes, guys, I am a horn player, and it's easy for me to do the horn parts first. Yeah, these all have to be short. They all, I mean, I'll, I have to put on all the articulations, otherwise, then the new score, because it's dumb, it'll literally just be like, oh, what, uh, do we play all of these long? That's it. Yeah. Yee! Alright, cool. Amazing. So we got that. Now, what's the bass in those two measures? Just playing C and G. A little bass clap, I haven't touched it in a while. By the way, well, I'll tell you after. That's what they're playing. Okay, well, what was the second thing that the horns play? Might be 
entirely sure. I think that just might be the same shape as this. Oh, that is not right. But starting on E flat. It might be. It might be. Hold on. I swear, most of this time is like literally spent at the piano, usually when I arrange. <laughs> well, that's definitely not what I wanted to. Oh, because they're all playing after me. Silly me. It doesn't sound right. It's because, like, it's really hard to, like, distinguish what the note is because they're playing so freaking sharp, man. just be E flat. I think because I had an F sharp there or G flat there that, that it's not playing right. Yeah. I think it might just be E flat major. E flat major seven. Because I think they're just pretty just going diatonically. Besides those other notes that we saw that were like sus. Speaking of sus, Joe, if you're listening to this, or Jackie, please let's play Among Us at soon, like at some point, please. Yeet, I think that's I think that's the issue. See, let's add some percussion because it's just kind of sounding flat at this point. Has this like go kata go kata go kata go kata right? It's like wood blocks. I don't even know what to do here. Are you just not gonna input? Amazing. Thanks. See, maybe we have to switch the instruments because this is just not not happening. Well, first, let me switch the monitor because I'm not even at the piano. Here I am. <laughs> All right, so we got percusión sin afinación, which means percussion without pitch. Pandereta, no. Platillos, maybe. Um, bombo. I don't even know know what bombo is. Bomba is a style in in in. Um, a style of Puerto Rican music, but I don't know what a bombo is. Maybe I'm just dumb and I just don't know any better. Anyway, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's that's definitely not what we need. <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, take that out. Caja clara. We might just even put like a, just a drum set, a set de percusión. Yeah, I think I just might even just do the drum set. And then the 
the percussionist can figure it out. Where is the... That's not what I want. Yeah, one of the... Also, another thing that sucks about MuseScore is they don't really have, like, a lot of instruments that are, like, world instruments. So it's not like you can put, like, guida or something on here, you know? And then it's like, oh, you know, like, you immediately have guida, like, on your on your thing. Maybe, ah, it's because in comunes. Okay. Uh, etnicos. Ah, there we go. Yes, amazing. Um... Tom Tom's Chino, Guido. Well, they even have a Guido here, man. Uh, let's put some maracas. I don't know. Let's take this out. Put maracas. They even have a kalimba. Look at that. Just me talking out of my ass. I'm sorry, guys. Amazing. Some maracas. Not a Guido. I mean, we don't have a Guida, so we might have to put a Guido, unfortunately. Uh... I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to use which which instruments. What are even castañuelas? I don't even know what they are actually. Well, let's Google it. Castañuelas, amazing. Castañuelas. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Palillos, yes, palillos. Castanets. That's that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, in Puerto Rico we say palillos. I think we have them in Puerto Rico, but we don't have. We don't even have tabla. That's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think just for now we'll just stick with the guido. I wish there was like congas or something. Maybe it's in jazz. Ah, amazing. Okay, bongos, congas, amazing. Okay, literally that's all I want to be honest. Uh, this is this is killing. All right. Yeah. For some reason, they don't have Guida, so I apologize for all my Dominican friends out there, but we don't have Guida at the moment. At least not on MuseScore. They need to do an update of some sort. Yeah, they might just be... So, and two, sorry, and four, E, and uh, one, E, and a, da, 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 uh, ta, ki, di, ki, di, mi, wow, guys, I'm having a short fuse right here, ki, di, mi, ta, ki, da, no, ti, gi, ki, di, mi, ta, ki, di, mi, that's what I, that's what it would be, at least that's, that's the easiest way for me to say that. And then somebody is doing ta ka da ta ka da. I'm thinking it's the bongos, but let's see how it sounds. Let's make it a different pitch. Yeah, let's see how that sounds. Okay. Eh. 
It's all right. It's like sounds like a sixteenth note. Da ka da da ka da da ka da. It's kind of like a two beat phrase. And that was my email, just annoyingly telling me, "Hey, like you got email." <laughs> I just need to just continue. Yeah, I think the 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 congas are playing along with them. I think they do play on the first beat. I think everybody plays on the first beat, actually. Yeah. That's basically it. Can't wait till we finish this and then it's just like formatting. Formatting is the worst part, guys. doing chik -chik -chik or chik some sort of thing that the bongos are doing. Chik -chik -chik -chik. I think it's chik I think it just might be the same rhythm as the bongos, but with an added eighth note. I need Joe to be here, dude. It's like I'm like just super annoying on his on his live streams. I mean, not super annoying. Maybe it might be annoying. I don't know. I I just like talking to him about stuff. Well, obviously the the percussionist will know that it's not like you're not supposed to hit the guido with the stick. You're supposed to well the guida actually. You're supposed to because it does kind of like this uh, this motion where you're basically holding it and it's like ch -ch 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 -ch. you know what I mean. Well, actually the the guida hold like a tin can basically. It's like ch -ch -ch -ch. it might be that. At least that's the way that we do with the guicharra, which we have in Puerto Rico, which I have over there. Hopefully, we'll be able to use it in some other arrangement. But for now, we got a guida, and somebody else is going to play it on this arrangement. So it doesn't matter. I don't know if you can even make the the ch, the, the ch sound. Ch. Maybe if you put tremolo, how would that sound? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't think that works. Anyway, but you guys know what I mean. Well, if you don't, you can check out the recording and it's basically like somebody playing it for you guys. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Also, the reason why I'm not putting the piano part here is because uh, Eden, he said that he was going to transcribe the piano part. And I was like, all right, dude, I don't, I, you know, I was going to do the arrangement anyway, like in its entirety. But, you know, I'm not mad. So less work I have to do. But then I have to, like, rearrange it. So it's like, Eden, if you're watching this, get me that piano part, please. Whoa, 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 
I think it just played like a triad. There's only four voices, so I think it's just do the triad. So you're gonna go down here for me. You're gonna play C. Well, G actually, and then C. stuff using the excuse me the the C I mean the harmonic minor scale usually unless you're a jazzer and you just make everything hip because you can <laughs> okay and then it's down the octave yeah it's actually B flat seven but Actually, D major. Yeah, sounds like D major. I think I just might put D flat just to simplify. Yeah. But then we got okay. So then we have then this. Ha then they have to play B flat, or actually they have to play it. Wait, what am I saying? A B, you have D, B flat, F, and then what's the next one? I'm just, oh, just play D. Wow, okay, amazing. Sorry, guys, it's like nine in the morning. I'm still trying to get my bearings here. <laughs> Sounds like they're just using dryads. Cara mas bonita. Kind of sounds like almost like an anime song, actually. That's not correct. Are they doing major? Or are they doing. <laughs> this one guys oh Andrew oh yeah Andrew says like that third last one it sounds like a dominant chord yeah see the luxury of being a piano player is that you can actually hear this stuff within a wind uh, us saxophone players we have to like literally hear the the 
Right, it sounds like B flat, B flat dominant, no? Andrew, if you're listening. It might just be like the half diminished triad. We're gonna leave this we're gonna leave this thing. Andrew, if you're still here, um I think it might be the the half diminished triad. This one. Right. Feel like a million people are like texting me right now and i'm trying to like focus on this i don't know how joe does it man well we're gonna get used to it guys i promise Olivia, what is good? Good morning. Right, like like Andrew, I think it, I think it sounds sort of. I think it it's just I think it might be dominant actually, at least the bass because the bass goes to B flat. First of all, I I need the bass in the third and fourth measure. Hold on. I think it might be A flat, E flat, C. Let's see. Yeah. Also, good morning, Olivia. What is up? If I didn't say that. Yeah, I think that might be right. This might be dominant at the end. <laughs> Andrew's like, ooh, arranging. Yeah, dude, doing this for the YouTube channel, I figured it might be a really nice treat for y'all. <laughs> That sounds right, except I'm not really too sure about this one. I think it just might, I think it might be major. I think it might be dominant. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Olivia's like, we should do a jazz versus a uh, classical transcription competition. I mean, sure. I don't know how would we do that. Do we like time ourselves or something? See, I don't know about this this third one. If anybody can figure that out, otherwise we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going, okay? Ba -do -ba -ba. I'm staying measure. The the luxury. Okay, I did not ask for spotlight. Uh, the the luxury of um percussion parts within these type of these types of music like afro-caribbean music um they pretty much stay the same unless you have a beast of a percussion player that they just decide that like hey i don't have to play the same thing a million times i'm gonna play whatever and it still sounds amazing oh andrew the third sounds like an a flat triad he says a flat you think so I mean, I already have I already have a, a C as the as, like just as A flat major because I already know it's A flat, right? And then the last one, the second one sounds major. That's what I thought. So I left it as B flat. <clears throat> so 
I got I got the piano the pianist uh, approval. So now we're gonna keep going. Keep going. What is in this measure? I think that's what they play, right? <laughs> freaking microphone guys I'm so sorry so if you hear like weird thump sounds not trying to do that I promise what was it again D yeah D F G So how's everybody doing? Please answer in the in the chat. I'm just chilling here, you know. I'm gonna be here till like maybe what time is it now? It is 9.57. I'm gonna be here till like maybe maybe like twelve, maybe eleven thirty. I don't know. I'm just trying to like I just need to freaking do these arrangements and I'm just not doing them. <laughs> This is this is the other one. And that needs articulations. Are you guys alive? Well, I hope y'all are doing fine. I'm doing great. I didn't have anything to eat. I just had a banana because I was like rushing to do this. That's not right. Put up up. Put up. I'll just be on the. On the 16th. <laughs> and just like pay attention to me earlier. Put uh, up. This requires articulation, this requires this accent. I think they might all play that actually. Thanks, Andrew. I appreciate you being here, dog. It be like that. I hope, I hope you have fun with whatever it is that you're doing. Help. I want that to be off on one. I'm like really naked here guys like I swear like I'll be at the piano for like hours trying to figure out parts just for everybody but like literally it will take me hours and saxophone obviously it's a lot easier because duh I play saxophone but like on on like you know because everything's in concert so it's like I have to basically use my non parent primary instrument to figure this out <laughs> And this is just the intro, guys. It's just like, hey, so like we're playing, and you're just we're just having a good old time. What is the bass guitar playing? Olivia, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, I, I I feel you as far as like work is considered. 
I'm doing all right. Um, I got this plan today until 12. <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you going to start your own Twitch stream at some point? I maybe, maybe. Uh, at the moment, I don't have enough subscribers for that, so that's on everybody else's uh, uh, their own volition. I need more subscribers in order to have a, a Twitch stream, to be honest. Well, because that way I can do both the, tr the Twitch stream and then also the, the YouTube stream as well. But to answer your question, I am fine. Uh, I'm doing this until 12, then practicing. I did all my homework for the week, so now I'm going to probably practice after this, maybe. Or basically have lunch, have food, <laughs> have sustenance. But anyway. <laughs> That sounds cool. Amazing. I think the bass player just plays the same thing. This is why I'm doing this arrangement, guys, because, like, I mean, obviously, I'm transcribing it right now, but like after that, then then comes the fun part of messing with chords and stuff. So then they do that twice, or maybe I should just maybe I should just do like a second ending. Yeah, I think I might do that actually, because if it's just the same thing. Formatting. Ha la 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 la. And then make this the first ending. Lines, first ending. And then make this, okay, we need to stop. Um, and then this will be done. <laughs> Amazing! You could you could do it. Fifty followers to be a Twitch, Twitch affiliate. I yeah. You know what? Like, maybe I don't know. It depends. It depends on um if if people want me to do that sort of thing. I've I've you know I'm trying to focus on YouTube right now, um, but who knows? You know. Uh, also, I need to have some spacers on this because it's just ugly. I don't know about you guys. This is I hate when measures are touching each other. Like it's like, like this. Gross. It's like I need space. Thanks. It's like that really annoying, like, um, what's it called? A really annoying um, boyfriend or what is it? Crazy girlfriend or something? Yeah. It's like literally, it's just like too close in my proximity. You know what I mean? So just move this away from each other so I don't freak the frick out. Olivia, what homework do you have to do later today? Or what are you doing currently in the morning? Are you watching this and doing your homework? <laughs> That'd be funny. I definitely need space, guys. Space from everybody and everything. But also, you know, like, I just need y'all to be there. You know what I mean? 
that I see you, I see you, boo boo, doing uh, homework and watching my stuff. I appreciate that, though. I appreciate that. German, German calls. Ew. So wait, you're not like answering something in German or something. Like you're not like like actually doing a German phone call while watching this. I feel like that would be like a huge brain um, mess up. More than uh, what my brain is actually messing up right now because it's just like, mm, I can't function. It's weird like doing these Twitch things. I mean, these, these live stream things on YouTube because it's like I'm basically talking to myself and then like waiting for a response in the comment section. <laughs> second ending it's pretty much the same thing but then they just <laughs> they just all play unison there <laughs> or maybe should i even put like a first ending second ending i think because they, they, they just play the same thing, so it's like, and then go into the next measure, basically. You know what? At the beginning of this, I'm going to put like, hey, it's two times, not a billion times, because listen, some people, some people are dumb, you know, and they just need to read. But even if they can't read, at least maybe they can decipher what I'm trying to say as far as everything else. So only two times. I usually write X's when I'm when I'm trying to say times. I don't feel like I need to put anything else. The less you can put within arranging, the 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 more you're saying with that, I guess. <laughs> I wish I had snacks. If anybody can just like send me snacks while I do these things, because th we'll be doing this every Saturday. If anybody can just send me snacks, that would be amazing. To munch on. I also need coffee as well. <laughs> So what's y'all's morning routine on Saturday for the next, I don't know, for however long this channel goes, uh, I think this will be my, my morning ritual in um, on Saturday. What do you guys do uh, when, when you wake up in the morning? Do you're like, crap, I need to go to work or like, crap, I need to do stuff or... Do you just chill, maybe watch some anime? We're always accepting of anime here, guys. Uh, they just all play a G, I think. Just a simple triad. And this is my plea.
might be I think it just sounds minor actually. Yeah, but then I'm hearing B natural. Might be G dominant actually. Oh, Jacob Isaac says, "Wake up, read, practice, eat, and go back to sleep." <laughs> Dude, to be honest, that has been my life. But then, ever since YouTube got involved, um, it's like, hey, so like, let's like do stuff. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I've just been like succumbed by all this like content creation lately within music and then within social media in general. But it, you know, it is what it is. I think I just meant to put the triad there. But you know, like, it's like I hear G, but it's like, I think, Like G altered. But it sounds, ah, uh, mm, mm, this is the dilemma, guys. I don't know, guys. What what are we what are, what are people saying in the comments? Oh, just finished Legend of Korra. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, dude, I'm telling you, man. I need a. I I've actually never, never finished it. Uh, I've I know what happens, but I never finished it because, uh, they took it off of Nickelodeon for some time when like they were going to finish it, but they never finished it. And oh, because like at, at one point Nickelodeon just stopped showing it on on the internet, and I was like, okay amazing it's not like i needed to finish this or whatever and i hate not finishing things so it's like bro or it just might be i think it just might be the the diminished triad and then g in the bass Might be just that. Uh... We're gonna put. I guess we're just gonna leave that for now. I don't like it, but because I feel like there's not enough B naturals in there. But who am I to judge? This this recording is like super out of tune and it's like what the f frack frack um What other animes do you guys watch? Oh, the audio just went dark for a second.
stays the same. Sorry, I was just listening to the thing um, a bunch of times because I wasn't sure exactly what was happening in the percussion, but they're just basically playing the same thing. I'm telling you guys, if you have if you have a killing percussionist in your band, like it's just like it's absolutely amazing. Like it's like it's like your your friend that is like um, that's like super. I guess like the person that keeps you honest and that's like super funny, and then it's like you 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 invite them to the party because they're they are the life of the party. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, then this whole song would be very dull. I mean, you would have like montunos going on and stuff, but like it wouldn't be like as percussively interesting. Anyway, but what are y'all saying? Jacob Isaac says just finish uh, a comic or kill. Amazing. Uh, currently trying to get the catch up on Black Clover. Dude, same. Like, I feel like some episodes are just, like, amazing, and then some episodes are not. They're, like, they're not up to par, but, you know, it is what it is. But that's that's just the thing. Uh, Olivia says, my favorite season was the third season of Legend of Korra, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. I was, like, I was just, like, in the third season, and then all of a sudden, Nickelodeon just stopped showing it on, on the internet. And I was just like, all right, jank, why are you being so jank? You know what I mean? They come in on one. <whistles> Sorry, on the end of two. <whistles> Articulations are important because we need to articulate what we say. But yeah, as far as animes are concerned, I'm still watching uh, Black Clover. Um, I mean, I finished Hunter x Hunter like like long, long ass time ago. What else did I watch? Um, I'm currently watching, obviously, One Piece. Wano Kuni is getting serious, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's getting serious. Um, what else was I watching? Oh, I'm watching Haikyuu. I love Haikyuu. Yes, volleyball. Amazing. But But a bunch of stuff. I'm watching a bunch of stuff. I'm also trying to watch. They do a little something a little different. Ba bu ba. Ba ho ha ha. <sighs> super weird just singing, trying to what you guys hear, just like my super jank singing. I feel like we're like the generation of animation, like like animated like shows.
Just like this whole thing is like a four bar phrase. So guys, like, what other songs would you like to for me to arrange? I mean, I have like a couple songs that I want to arrange that are all, uh, you know, Afro Caribbean music or other stuff like hip hop, soul, um, gospel, um, this sort of thing that I'm gonna put on the channel eventually. Um, what else would you want to see me arrange? Because I think you know. Having having y'all's input is also important, you know. That's not the part that I wanted to hear. I don't know why I was listening to that. So I think they just do a tad. No, that's supposed to be a D. Well, actually, B flat. And then the second trumpet playing B flat. Sorry, D. Yeah. So there's nobody watching right now, but that's okay, you know? Hopefully people will come back. Na, 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 na. But yeah, I was like saying earlier, what what other songs would you like to see on here? Or genres in general, like, like, like I tell people all the time, I, li I love listening to music, except country. Well, actually, I shouldn't be too harsh on country. Country is actually making its way into my playlists, which is weird because I never thought that it would. Oh, it just said, uh, sorry, Olivia, it just said, like, oh, like, you have no viewers at the, at the time. And I'm like, amazing. But that's, you know, it is what it is. People got stuff to do. I understand. That's actually on two. Damn that on two. Or well on three. says any genre i like funk scary pockets make some cool covers yeah you know also like people like um what's it called dirty loops dirty loops they also make really great covers <laughs>
chord are they on? Oh, the G, right? Sounds like dominant. Why are you like this? <sighs> nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Amazing. Guys, can you send help and like get me some coffee and snacks? Because I'm dying here, you know? Not actually dying, but you know. Gotta be a little excessive, you know, in order to get the people to do stuff. Olivia says, have you ever done stuff like that, like making a version of a popular song? Actually, no. I mean, I've played, like, arrangements of songs that that I've played. I mean, sorry, I've played covers of songs. I, I guess yes. The answer is yes, because I've definitely done that in the past. Yeah. Definitely done done some covers in the past and wrote some covers, but not really like they were like for live performances, not necessarily for like a band I was in. Now we're gonna make this a triad. That's too high. High in the sky. I hope me talking to myself is like <clears throat> amusing to y'all. I need to drink some water because I'm, I'm dying of thirst. Dying of thirst here. <clears throat> Way better. Okay. Amazing. I need to get the okay from Eden to pl put the piano part because this is just kind of sounding empty. But you know it is what it is. So we got that measure. Yeet, that's the part. Jose says, I'm mostly lurking a lot. Yeah, dude, this is a uh, Jose. This is a uh, this is the way we arrange things, at least the way I arrange things. And hopefully y'all can learn something from it, because literally I'm just, you know, progressively looking at something for like hours just to figure out what the heck is going on because first of all they're playing super sharp um i don't know if anybody knows what that means besides olivia but like they're just playing super sharp out of nowhere and then it's like really hard to distinguish which notes are correct and stuff so it's like amazing this this is going swell you know <laughs> They play us like some 16th note line in here. What is that? They're playing something in there, but I can't hear what it is. Oh, also, for everybody that's in the chat right now, please tell me if the sound is okay because I, I'm like having like, I'm super self conscious if like I'm wondering if even any of you can hear what like what is happening because I have my speakers on and I don't have the computer audio on, so I just want to make sure that the audio is cool. So let me know in the chat if it's cool. <laughs> it sounds like what they're playing is like. 
That's what it sounds like they're playing. Yeah, dude. It's not, that sounds it sounds what they're, they're what they're playing. Yeah, except they don't play the last one. It's, it sounds it sounds something like that like and then this, this this thing at the end you know what I mean at least that's what it sounds like At least that I have that part. But what beat does that come on? I think it comes on like on the end of I think it comes on the end like on the E of one. So the end of two, so the E of two. We at least we have that much. Hold on. First of all, that should be sixteen. I mean that should be on the E. So annoying. Uh, it's so hard to hear this this freaking thing. First of all, they're not even playing it loud. And second of all, it's out of tune. So it's like. I think that's what it is. But it's not good What is the bass playing? Maybe that will be give us a better indication of what the heck they're playing. Oh yeah, uh, Olivia, of course I can tell you guys why I chose this. I, I said it towards the beginning. Of course you had to be there to understand. But like, no, but I can, I can say it again. Um, a, bun a, f a friend of mine who's the piano player who will be on this, on this project, he, he was like, dude, and he was like, 
Yeah, sure, dude. I would love to, because uh, he was playing, uh, you know, some Dominican songs on his on his Instagram, and he lives in Miami, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, like, you know, maybe maybe we should do like a collab or something. Like, we should do something on your YouTube channel." And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, for sure." And then he, I asked him like, "Is there any like Dominican songs?" Because he's Dominican. He's like, "Any Dominican songs that you would like to to play?" And then we'll make an arrangement of it, and then it'll be that. And then he was like, yeah, of course. Like, uh, he, he gave me, like, a bunch. And then this was, he's like, listen to these and tell me which one do you like the most. And I'm like, okay, well, I only know Que Cara Mas Bonita. And then I listened to the other two. And then I like this one, of course, because I'm a little biased. But it'd be like that sometimes. And, uh, yeah, he, he was just like, dope, let's do it. And then, you know, I was just like, okay, well, just, he said he was going to do the, the piano part, which is why I'm not doing the piano part. Um... Uh, but yes, but that's 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 the reason why we're doing it just just for fun just for fun and because we wanted to collab with each other So why not? Yeah, I, I thought you said something else on the chat so I was just like I, I looked at the chat like what is that? So what were we doing? Oh yeah, figuring out the bass. They just play the same. <sighs> okay, so they just play the same thing. The ba bo da do do Sounds like a natural. Yeah. Let's see if I can see. Do 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 I don't know if that answered your question, Olivia, uh, but but yeah, that's that's the reason why what I explained earlier why I'm doing this arrangement in the first place. Also, if you guys have any arranging questions, just as far as like why the hell am I doing certain things in my arrangement, just let me know and then we can talk about it. And why am I playing it from this part? I'm like, I swear to God, my brain is not on my head right now. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the, as close as we're going to get to that this thing that they play in the background, which is super sharp. And not only is it super sharp, it's like super soft, so it's like amazing. Like we're just we're just not going to have it. Amazing. Hopefully, you know, also sometimes when it comes to arranging, um it seems like like especially when you're transcribing something because then you're gonna you know arrange it later but um it always seems like when you leave it like for two seconds especially with transcriptions as well it's like when you leave something and then come back to it the next day usually you'll hear something that you didn't hear before because you know you're like your psyche is like i'm overloaded with knowledge like this sort of thing you know Da 
It's like a quintuplet, but within 16th notes. That's so hard to say. So y'all want covers, I guess. It seems like. So I'm just gonna I'll put I'll put some covers in my in my rep for for these arrangements. Also, if you haven't checked out the other arrangements, I did one on my first video. And for Libras, uh, because it was happy birthday and a lot of people that happen to be Libras that are important in my life happen to have birthdays in the same week. So I made a video for all the Libras. So check that out. Scorpios, eh, maybe might make one next next year. I don't know about I don't know about that, but Gemini's are better. They're all they're all superior. <laughs> Just one. Ba, 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 ba. Why did, maybe they played it late in the recording, so maybe that's the reason why it came out that way. But like, it's just so weird. Like you have like the uh of one, and then going into the takadimi, uh, the the two ienda of two. <laughs> Typical uh, Afro-Caribbean music. See, this is the problem of transcribing something that is super out of tune. Yeah, it sounds like they're playing E natural on top and E flat afterwards. But then again, like I said, they're super sharp. needs to get more creative okay because otherwise
what did they play? They play on, on M4. See, but that wouldn't make sense. But then it would have to be. I don't. I don't know if it's. Hmm. Yeah, man. Old recordings. This is the problem. Super. <laughs> Because they're clearly playing in E flat, but it might be tuned differently, so I don't know. Because sometimes they play really in tune, but then sometimes they play really not in tune. But then they played so fast. It might be on the uh, on the end, actually. Yeah, I think they might play on the on the. Also, guys, if you haven't done so, please make sure to like the video. It helps me out with all the algorithm stuff. Please, um, trying to get in, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get uh, famous on uh, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? To help y'all with and all the stuff that I can. <laughs> so quick It's not 
not what I want. Let's listen again. Am I just like dumb and not realizing that like it's just eighth notes? Because they're just playing it super short. Might be even further. Da 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 da. Oh, I think I might know what it is. I think it might just be this. <laughs> or something like this. Maybe on, wait, what does it, is it beat two that they stop or is it beat three? Beat three. Figure it out. Gucci gang. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's basically it. But maybe this should be... It's just quick. Oh, this is short. Some some sort. They're probably playing it uh, super not swung like like. But you know, you guys know what I mean. They're probably just playing it a little bit more exaggerated than than what I can notate at the moment. I'm just making another triad. This is just the transcription part, guys. It, I swear it's a lot more interesting when when we get to the actual arranging stuff. At least I, some people, they like to transcribe and arrange at the same time. I like to transcribe kind of like a lead sheet or like the basic form of a better idea of what I want because I know where everything's going. But, you know, people are different. So. An accent. This is an accent. Why aren't you sticking? Amazing. I swear to God, guys, I sing all the time when I'm arranging. Like, I'm just like singing to myself just because. I'm just like, why can I understand what I'm trying to write? You know what I mean? It'd be like that, though. What's funny about, like, this type of music, Afro-Cuban, sorry, not Afro-Cuban, Afro-Caribbean music, usually when, when horns are included, it usually be like a triad of some sort um, in order to accentuate the harmony, or at least the upper structures of the harmony. Um, so that's pretty easy. But then, like, it gets, like, really weird. As we go and arrange this sort of thing, it just gets into this, like, how how hip you want to be, you know? You can get into, like, clusters or fourths or fifths or this sort of thing, or even maybe, like, making like a, a like a voicing but like that is specifically super spread so then that way other instruments can fill in those those gaps you know what i mean but this is, these are the interesting things about arranging <laughs> Look at 
da ba da 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 four, and then that would be off. Band form. Killing. Killing, guys. <clears throat> this is falling into place, and we're only at 30 seconds. Next Saturday, hopefully, we'll. It, we'll either do another arrangement, well, you know, and I'll probably finish this one on my own, or we'll, you know, I could probably get together with you guys and do this again. But let's see how it sounds from the beginning. I think it might sound okay. <laughs> I just have to call somebody at like 12. Um, hold on one second. Let me just tell this person. I just forgot that I had to call somebody at 11. Okay, amazing. Cause like I, I set a phone call with this person and then I just completely forgot that like I had a, a phone call with them while I'm doing this live stream. Amazing. This is how my life is, is going, guys. It's just, you know, a conundrum. Like probably most of the time. Anyway. Back to arranging. <clears throat> We're gonna add some uh compasses. Um and set I'll just put like a hundred so that way we don't have to worry about it for a really long time. Okay, now back to the arrangement. Do they play another downbeat on that? They just play that on the first measure. They're just like, pop. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <sighs> what did I want to do here? Uh, I think I wanted to put a bar line there to demonstrate that there's a next section here. Okay. They play on the... And the end. One, two, uh, one, two, uh, one, two, uh. Cuando yo. I swear to God, guys, if I become a salsero in the future, I think I'd be the happiest man on the planet. Like, I have such the personality to be a salsero, you know. One, two, uh. Currently taking vocal lessons because I don't know how to use my voice properly. <laughs> no, I think it's it's on the ant. Just like getting all of my notifications all at the same time. I don't know why the heck that's happening. Jose, yeah, man. It's this, you know, this is just how arranging is, you know? It's just the, uh, and as we go on, it'll get more and more complex and hopefully it'll sound a lot more interesting. I still have to hit up Eden to figure out if he wants me to do the transcription of the piano part as well, which would actually be to my own benefit because then I could actually figure out 
what is happening in the piano, you know, and then change it later when we start actually arranging, you know. So what does the bass do? When in doubt, always refer to the bass. They just play the same thing for two bars. Boom, bum, 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 bum. I guess it just remains in G. So what'd you guys have for breakfast? Or what are you having for breakfast? Oh shoot. Oh, nice. Butternut squash soup. Killing. You know, actually, I have I have a thing with butternut, butternut squash soup, actually. Have you guys tried, like, like, um, um, have you guys tried spaghetti? I was going to say puschetti. Puschetti, um, uh, what's it called? Squash. That's actually really delicious. Also, um, I actually don't know what the name is. I had it a bunch in, in, in the Netherlands, but I can't remember. Those are amazing for soups, you know what I mean? But I haven't had breakfast yet. I only had a banana because I had to get here on time because I didn't want to fail all of you. So I'm basically here on an empty stomach besides a banana. But you already know for the gains, I need to, I need to put them together. Uh, and um, so I'm gonna have a big breakfast or a big mid breakfast, big lunch breakfast. I don't know after this, but yeah. Um, Jacob says, not gonna lie, breakfast is a foreign concept to me at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, bro. That that my friend is called uh, uh, intermittent fasting, and usually a lot of people do intermittent fasting without even knowing what intermittent fasting is. So good on you. It's actually good for your body. I stopped doing intermittent fasting because I wanted to stop losing weight. Because I, when, when I got back from the Netherlands, I was like 200 pounds. Um, you know, obviously with like fat and muscle and water. And it's like, at that point, I was just like, what am I going to lift? There's nothing heavy here that I can lift. You know what I mean? So I was just like, especially not being able to go to the gym. So I was just like, I'm going to lose some weight. Now I'm at 185 and a lot leaner and a lot lighter. I feel a lot lighter for sure. I think that's on two actually. Down. Don't go down. Think that's on two. Down. That's so killing. Bow. 
The only re also the only reason why I'm holding my um, English, English, English headphones um, uh, like this is because I don't want them to get on top of my hat. But I think the hat is super stylish, so we're gonna keep it like this, even though I look stupid. But it's cool. It's like when do I ever not look stupid? You know what I mean? <laughs> A flat on the end. I think it's on also the end of two. That's the last one. Too quick. Step. Guys, there's nothing wrong with going up a half step, but listen, it's, it's starting to get old, in my personal opinion. But, you know, it's for the sake of the arrangement. But we'll change it, hopefully. I think it'll, it, we'll, we'll, we'll not say make it better, but we'll, we'll make it hipper, hopefully. <laughs> It's already 11. Pfft, I didn't even realize, dog. Man, this goes by fast. Jesus Christ.
Okay, what did I just do? Mistakes. Mistakes. Ah, dang. This is a whole bar. Comes in on earlier. Na, 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 na. I keep hearing B flat. Almost there. that for a bit, right? No. Uh, I swear, Muse Squared hates me sometimes. I'm going to double this. I'm going to double that. I'm going to put... Legato. Accent. Yeah. Can you, any of you guys like mention some of your favorite arrangements of certain songs? It doesn't necessarily have to be jazz or Afro-Caribbean music. It could be anything. Like, what are some of your or favorite arrangers or arrangements of songs? I mean, anything by Vince Mendoza for me, to be honest, literally takes the cake. It's like, literally, I'm just like amazed all the time when he writes stuff, especially for orchestra. <laughs>
Also, I don't know if you noticed some of th- some of these times, like some of the times when you're doing these triads or like voicings or stuff. Um, usually, you'll run into like repeated notes, which usually, which I've been told by many clinicians and um, clinicians and I guess people who know a lot about arranging stuff. Um, they're always like, "Oh, dude, you can't, you can't do that." Like the reason, w- the reason why that they say that is, is because you're always trying to write towards the line. But like I said, we're just doing a just a mock arrangement and basically just writing um, the like the skeleton of the piece, basically. But anyway, um, Olivia says, "I'm pretty sure Vince Mendoza arranged an album for Joni Mitchell with orchestra." Yes, both sides now. That is literally one of the best albums ever like mixing jazz and orchestra and folk music and like it's it's amazing guys if you haven't checked that out it's both sides now by Joni Mitchell absolutely amazing great horn parts especially within you're my thrill um when I say horn parts I mean French horn of course um but yeah but literally one of the best albums as far as like orchestrating in my own personal opinion one of my favorites Two bars. Okay, let's see how this sounds. That's it. Amazing. Let's let's see. Just let's just listen to this one section. Amazing. Killing. Now we continue. Oh, also Olivia says I also love the string parts on the new Ariana album. Yeah, I, I don't know who she got with. I don't know who's the producer as far as that sort of thing is. But um, I understand. Yes, I also think it's pretty killing. And I feel like ever like everybody at this point is just like kind of like getting on that Ariana uh, Ariana Grande. like being super stupid right now so like being super slow boom 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 bop Asking a question, she says, What makes a good arranger, in my opinion? 
Uh, oof, that's that's a good question actually. Um, a great arranger makes, and I am nowhere near a great arranger yet because we're getting there, right? I've only been arranging music for about a couple of years now, but like you know, hopefully when I'm like fifty, I'll have a better understanding of arranging and stuff like that. So, but I feel like what makes a great arranger is depth of knowledge within music, depth of knowledge within harmony, rhythm and also abstract musical concepts. And when I mean like like harmony, I, that, that also includes, and like melody and arm, harmonic and whatever, um, that also includes like styles and, and, and um, con like backdoor two five in, in jazz or like, you know, one four one in like gospel music or like, you know, a tune with no bar lines, this sort of thing. Great arrangers always have like a depth of knowledge within all of these concepts and then translate them into the music that they write. And then usually you'll see like, oh, in this tune, I was just basically uh, doing like, uh, what's it called? Um, focusing on minor ninths, even though minor ninths are like the abysmal interval, you know, like people were like, oh, you know, like, it actually sounds beautiful because in ballads, minor ninths are absolutely so beautiful. So it's like, why not use them in, a, in another context? So then it's like this sort of thing. Like basically like having the knowledge of all these different things and being able to ap apply them effectively and tastefully. Because like at some times, you know, people will like, I guess uh, Jacob Collier is an example. Um, I call him a maximalist. You know, sometimes he, he just like literally does everything that he knows within one song. Um, and that's amazing. I can't do that and I don't want to do that. But the thing is, the problem with that for me is it's just like, like, where's the melody? Uh, which, which part of the song do I focus on? This sort of thing, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like, I don't want to be, because at the end of the day, you know, talking about psychology of music, because right now I'm studying because within my music therapy degree, it's like the, the brain can only hold so much information at a time. I mean, look at like certain parts of the brain, like with like teen angst, it's like, there are certain emotions within our brain that we can't fathom within certain periods of our lives. So it's like the same thing with music. And since music is emotional, so it's the same principle. You know what I mean? So it's like, for me, it's a lot more pleasing to listen to effectively used musical concepts within certain arrangements for things that you're trying to accomplish, like a certain mood or like um, a certain tempo or a certain tone color or anything like that. So that's kind of like my long and like long-winded question as far as what makes a good arranger. That answers your question, Olivia. Oh, also, it depends on like what type of person you are. Like, I consider myself a kinesthetic learner, like super hard kinesthetic learner, because I feel like I learn from all of my mistakes, which is why I love making mistakes, because then I actually learn stuff. Because you know, like people, you know, but that depends on the type of person you are. Like maybe. I like reading and I love uh, messing up all the time. So that way I actually learn something. I learned that from my dad, actually. Um, I've accepted failure in my life. I have so many failures to talk about that it's like, I even made a video about it. If you want to check it out, it's on my YouTube channel. But like, it, I've failed so many times that it's just like, I'd rather just learn that way. So that way I can improve, you know? <laughs> Let me play it three times.
Can you hear everything, guys? Somebody let me know if the audio is okay. Like, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Um, because I just, I don't want to, like, keep going with you, uh, you guys being able to hear everything. No, that's not what I wanted. Bup, bup, ba, dup. Thank you, Jacob, for letting me know. Appreciate that. I keep going right all the time. Just assuming that it's on, on the other side. I just want to get that last part. I guess we'll make this everybody an F, I guess. No! And then separate in those last notes. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, guys, I think, uh, what time is it? I think I'm gonna go now because my dad's like, yo, do you want breakfast or not? Like, where are you at? <laughs> but I'll, I'll just play the song from the beginning and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> That's like 30 seconds. That's not bad. Um, should obviously, we should uh, probably get this done within the next couple of weeks. I might even have uh, another audio um, arranging session whenever I just have like free time. And in that case, we could just like get together and that sort of thing. But otherwise, 
thank you so much for everybody that came on to the live stream uh, session. We have uh, Jardín Jibaro with, with Pedro Millán, with Con Pedro Millán, actually, in Spanish. Uh, but thank you for so much for coming. If you like the live stream, make sure to like the video and subscribe and turn your bell notifications on because I put a video out every week, or at least a video, I'm trying, at least one video. I'm trying to put out more videos, but right now it's just, it's just one video, but hopefully in the future it'll be like maybe three or four or five or whatever, and that would be awesome. But anyway, hope you guys have a great day and happy shedding.